meeting ah, for you. in this uh, Hindu temple for the <coughs> safety of uh, Dato Amiga and also the family of uh, Dato Sri Anwar because uh, lately we have read in the newspaper that uh, they are peoples we don't know who they are they went to Dato Amiga house to create some commotion harassment and also uh, to the Dato Sri Anwar, his daughter uh, Nuruiza, and we also read that uh, people were hurt now. So we are here to ask for God intervention to help them, so that uh, nobody is hurt. Yeah. Suspect. Saya, saya tidak tahu siapa sebab saya tiada di tempat kerja Tapi saya pasti polis tahu Sebab polis ada ambil gambar, video Gambar-gambar yang yang buat kacau itu Polis semua tahu Tapi sampai sekarang polis tidak buat apa-apa tindakan Saya rasa semua ini isu kekecohan politik Pukul, hentam, harassment Boleh, boleh dihentikan dengan sebetul-betul Sekiranya polis buat tangkapan Buat tangkapan Sesiapa yang buat protes di hadapan rumah Dato' Amiga Sekiranya polis buat tangkapan Itu kumpulan orang Yang lain akan takut Yang lain tahu oh, Kalau mereka terus buat begitu Di depan rumah orang lain 
dia akan ditangkap mereka tidak akan buat lagi itu boleh selesai semua tapi ya, uh, dengan du- duka citanya polis sampai sekarang refuse Enang untuk buat apa-apa tindakan Yang the latest saya dengar Ada uh, daripada DAP Ada dua adik beradik Kerana patirau dengan adik dia Kena, kena hentang kuat-kuat Masih dalam hospital lah. yeah, yeah. Ha. So, ha. So, ha. Itu itu Kerana patirau sudah bagi tahu polis Nama walaupun bagi penyerang tahu, ha. yeah. Nama the, the person who assaulted Attack him Nama siapa Tapi sampai sekarang polis tidak mau buat apa-apa It's just for information lah kalau saya buat laporan polis, saya kata ah, ini 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 siapa-siapa nama tinggal di mana dia pukul saya Ataupun dia tidak buka saya, dia hanya marah saya, kata oh, saya mau lu mati Itu saja, polis akan pergi rumah dia tangkap dia, tanpa siasatan tau Tangkap dia dalam rimal, one two days, then let him out Even without polis investigation, whether what lah the, uh, 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 the report lah, the law is true lah, polis will go yeah. tangkap It happened many times, I received so many complaints But about this case Real injury, real incident, reported in newspaper with all the photos, video, no action. Dia orang tu suatu kata target. Uh, hari ini target apa? Asmin Ali, pergi rumah dia. Okay, they're going one by one. Saya tak tahu kumpulan sama ke atau kumpulan lain, tapi sing lah dia. They have different target, different day lah. Today is Asmin Ali. You don't like your neighbor or you don't like somebody, you just go to the police report. Say he threatened you, verbally threatened you. I want to beat you up, or want to, you know, uh, uh, kill you or assault you. Police will go to the other side, arrest him, put him under revenge few days. Uh, even though you are making a false report, there won't be action against you. This is how a police handle the thing. The purpose of me having this special prayer today uh, is, uh, in fact, in honor of, uh, in praise and in honor of Dato Ambika who is actually a very, uh, I would say, an iron lady who is uh, who's actually uh, showing a good part in the first. We know that the election commission, there are a lot of uh, discrepancies in the goal list. So her motive is to actually make things right, correct everything, make the people happy, so that people who are going to uh, vote as voters, they have the right to know if there's any uh, wrongdoing. So I think it is really fair the election commission will have to rectify whatever the, uh, the problem she has raised. I think it's only fair that uh, the election commission chairman come out with something concrete and uh, in, uh, in favor of the, uh, of the government to make sure that the government is not doing a hanky-panky. Lah. That's one thing. And at the same time, we are also doing another prayer, which is for Datu Sri Anwar, who is, uh, we feel is the prime minister in waiting. And uh, I think he's the best choice to be our next Prime Minister. And I think uh, we come around the next election, Pakatan Riot is doing, going to do extremely well from the way that things are moving on. Because uh, day in and day out, we see a lot of uh, new happenings are occurring. And of course, you know, lately when you talk about this uh, brutal assault by uh, some quarters with the Pakatan leaders is really very unbecoming. And of course, the police also, I'm sure they know who the culprits are. Despite that, they are not doing any action. So we want the authorities uh, who are in power to stop all this uh, nonsense and uh, build some confidence with the people. Uh. That's my humble request. <coughs> Whatever they are doing in front of Ambi House is not fair. Right? It's not fair. You see, you are as a father. If anybody make a mistake, call them and ask them, what is your problem? And you don't back what the people doing. Don't ever do back the same thing to the people's house. It's not fair. Right? It's not fair. You, you as the ruling the government, you have to call them and ask them, what is your problem? Come, sit down, we talk. Whatever uh, people are doing, the same thing you call other people to do in front of people's house, is not fair. People are laughing at us. Foreign countries are laughing at us. We have a challenge. Okay, you win the football game, you carry the cup. If I win, I carry the cup, just for it. And why you want to make a problem and let people, uh, foreign people laugh at our country? This is a peaceful country. Are you concerned about her neighbors also? Sorry? Are you concerned about Ambiga's neighbors? Oh, neighbors, yes. You got that. <coughs> I, the reason I'm telling that I'm not, I'm not happy on that. 
what these people are doing, you shouldn't do that. You call them and ask them, what is your problem? You selling burger there and I call people to go and sell dosa in front of them. What is not, not fair? Like a, this one, something like a katu. Am I right? What is this? Don't let foreign people laugh at us. Dato Banda, I have to answer on this. You know, these are not a joke.